Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 3.5 multiply with regrouping and our essential question is how can you use regrouping to multiply two digit numbers so let's unlock the problem by 1914 Henry Ford had streamlined his assembly line to make a model T Ford car in 93 minutes how many minutes did it take to make 25 model T's okay so here we have 93 minutes for one car so 25 cars we have to multiply 93 by 25 so first let's estimate so 93 if we round it to the nearest 10 to the right of the 9 we have 3 which is weak digits so the 9 we keep it 90 25 if we round it to the nearest 10 to the right of the 2 we have 5 which is a strong digit so the 2 will be 30 so 90 multiply 30 we write these two zeros in the product and the question is like 9 times 3 now so 9 times 3 is 27 so it's 2700 so now let's actually multiply 93 by 25 so step number one we will think of 93 as 9 tens and 3 ones. So first we'll multiply the 25 by the 3 ones. So first 3 multiply 25, 3 times 5 is 15, write 5 down and the 1 up. Then 3 multiply 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So 3 multiply 25 is 75. Step number two, we'll multiply the 25 by 9 tenths. Okay, so in the second line, we multiply the 25 by 9 tenths, which is 90. So 25 multiply 90, actually we should write this zero in the product, so write zero. And 25 multiply 9. 9 multiply 5 is 45, so we write down 5 and carry up 4. Then 9 multiply 2 is 18. 18 plus 4 is 22, so 2,250. Then we add the partial products. So step number 3, we'll add the partial products, the 75 plus the 2,250. So 5 plus 0 is 5, 7 plus 5 is 12, so write down 2 and 1 up. So the 2 will be 3 and write the 2, so 2,325. So 93 multiply 25 is 2,325. And since it's close to the estimate of 2,700, so since 2,325 is close to the estimate of 2,700, the answer is reasonable. Okay, so again, let's do it at one step because you don't have to write all of this every time. So the question is 25 multiply 93 so we can multiply it like this first we multiply by 3 it's like we don't see the 9 now so it's like 25 multiply the 3 so 3 times 5 is 15 we write 5 down and 1 up then 3 multiply 2 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 in the second step we'll erase the carry up and we put 0 here. We put the 0 because we will multiply by 9, which is actually 90. So we put the 0 and multiply 25 by 9. So now 9 times 5 is 45. We write down 5. Carry up 4. Then 9 times 2. 9 times 2, 18. Plus 4, 22. And the last step we will add. So 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 5, 12, 2 down and 1 up, 1 plus 2 is 3, and we write the 2, so 2,325. Okay, so the more you practice, the more you will solve it fast. Okay, here are different ways to multiply. You can use different ways to multiply and still get correct answer. Sean and Betty both solve it 67 multiply 40 correctly, but they used different ways. So look at Sean's paper, we have 60 multiply 40 and 7 multiply 40. So 60 multiply 40, 2400, 7 multiply 40, 280. 
then add 2400 plus 280 so the answer is 2680 okay so 67 multiply 40 is 2680 what about Betty so Betty's paper she used the regrouping like we said here she multiplied 67 by 0 which is actually 0 0 multiplied 7 is 0 0 multiplied 6 is 0 then she multiplied by 40 so she put 0 here at the second step and multiply 67 by 4 so, so she got 268 then she added she got also 2680 so Betty also found that 67 multiply 40 is 2680 okay so here two questions what method did Sean use to solve the problem okay so as you can see here Sean used the place value he said that 7 is at 1 so it's 7 and 6 at 10 is 60 and multiply both by 40 and then added the 2400 and the 280 so he used place value and mental math what about Betty what method did Betty use to solve the problem so as we can see she used the place value and regrouping okay now for share and show look at the problem complete the sentences so first we have 27 multiply 60 so first multiply what and what to get 0 so first we multiply 0 and 27 so we got 0 so we multiplied 0 and 27 and we got 0 we wrote it in the first step in the second step multiply what and what and get 1620 so then we multiply 60 by also the 27 so we got 1620 so in the second step multiply 60 and 27 to get 1620 then add the partial products 0 plus 1620 which is 1620 so these are our three steps so first multiply 0 by 27 then multiply 60 by 27 you got 1620 then we add the two products or the two answers so our answer is 1620 okay here estimate then find the product okay so let's do the estimate first okay if we round it to the 68 and the 53 68 will be 70 as the 8 is a strong digit and the 53 will be 50 and the 3 is a weak digit so if we multiply 70 by 50 we should write these two zeros in the product so the question now is 7 times 5 so 7 times 5 is 35 so it's a 30,500 now let's multiply first we multiply the 3 by the 68 so 3 times 8 is 24 so I write down 4 and carry up 2 then 3 multiply 6 so 3 multiply 6 is 18 18 plus 2 it's 20 so this is the first step step number 2 we'll multiply the 50 by the 68 so we write 0 and multiply the 5 by the 68 so 5 times 8 is 40 so we write 0 and 4 up then 5 times 6 is 30 30 plus 4 is 34 so if we add we get 4 0 6 3 so 3604 so guys first step you multiply 68 by 3 then you multiply 68 by 50 so we'll put 0 and we we'll multiply 68 by 5 so we we'll get 340 so we'll add to products so our answer is 3604 okay here at number 3 61 multiply 54 let's estimate first 61 let's make it 60 the one is a weak digit okay and the 54 will make it also 50 as the 4 is a weak digit also 
So write these two zeros in the product and then multiply 6 by 5. So 6 times 5 is 30. So it's 3000. Now let's multiply. So we'll multiply the 61 by 4. So 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. Step number 2. We can put a 0 and multiply the 61 by 5. So 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 6 is 30. Step number 3. Add the two products. So 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. 2 plus 0 is 2. And 3 plus nothing is 3. So 3294. Okay, number 4. 90 multiplied 27. Okay, so 90. We'll keep it 90. It already has 0 in the 1's place. 27 to the right of the 2 we have 7, which is a strong digit, so that 20 will be 30. So 90 multiply 30, we write two zeros in the product, and 9 times 3 is 27, so 2700. Now let's multiply. So first we'll multiply 90 by 7, so 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 9 is 63. We'll multiply the 2 by 90. So first we write the 0 because this 2 is actually 20 and then multiply 2 times 0 which is 0 2 times 9 which is 18 then we will add so 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 3 is 3 6 plus 8 is 14 so write 4 down 1 up 1 plus 1 is 2 so 2430 Okay guys, so that's it, how to multiply user regrouping. So you multiply by the first digit. And step number two, you will erase the carry up and write zero and multiply the second digit. Step number three, you will add the two products. Okay, hope you enjoyed this lesson guys. Have a nice day and goodbye.